Hey everybody. If you've been driving down Overland, you may have seen a place called the Public House. It's a new restaurant slash pub, and we thought we'd pop in and find out what's really going on out here. And so I'm joined by Shane. He is the owner slash sous chef of the Public House. Shane, thank you for talking to us. Thank you for coming in. This is a beautiful location. What, uh, what exactly is the Public House? What are you guys trying to do out here? Well, Public House, pubs, Public House eventually got shortened to pub, so it's a it's, it's a place to hang out with your family and friends, have a good time, relax, have good food, have a good beer selection. Meridian really didn't have a, uh, a spot like this. People had to drive into downtown. Boise really enjoy this type of environment. Does it sort of have a European flavor? Is that what Not really European. Keith, our chef, and myself took our own twist on classic American comfort food. We want to make a place where families can come hang out. There's a lot of families in Meridian and Boise too. Uh, we wanted to give it a feel where if you wanted to not have kids around, we have this area here around the corner. We have a spot, a spot for families. We have a chalkboard wall back there so the kids can get up from the tables and, play. and play, play on the wall. We have cartoons playing back there unless it's football season. We do play football games here for anyone. <laughs> so you're talking about comfort food. Uh, what sort of cuisine can we find here? Well, I think we should talk to our, our chef Keith. Okay. He, he can guide you through, through the kitchen and talk about all our great food. Now Shane was telling us that there's great food at the public house, so we're talking now with Keith, who is the executive chef here. And Keith, tell us what we can find if we want to come eat something. What what sort of food can we find at the public house? We can find our gourmet burgers. Uh, the, I think it's the best in the valley, only what people have told us to. We have fresh uh, seafood, as mussels, clams, and oysters. Oh wow! Um, we have uh, classic American food with a twist of. New Age, Norwegian, Scandinavian uh, influence in it, and North American, uh, mm -hmm. Northwest cuisine. Uh, we have our uh, flatbreads, or it's just delicious. People just come around just to want to eat our just for crust, the bread. just for the bread. Yeah, you know. But we have offer a lot of things. We have soups, salads, you know, ribs, lamb shank, hanger steak is one of our best sellers. There's a healthy kid menu. Uh -huh. We have stillhead on the kid menu. We have chicken. We have baby carrots, celery, apples. So it's not just chicken fingers deep no, fried. No, not just deep fried. We want it fresh and right. healthy for kids. All right, cool. What is so special about the public houses in comparison to some of the other restaurants here in, in the Valley? Well, we think freshness. You know, we bake our own buns in-house. We cut our own steaks in-house. We use 100% Angus beef and all the meats that we have. We make all our dressings in-house. Everything's pretty much from scratch. I understand you have a special event coming up here. It's Oktoberfest, right? Correct. We're doing Oktoberfest on August on October 1st, Saturday, so this coming Saturday. Uh, we'll have knockwurst and bratwurst, sauerkraut, German potato salad, pretzels, and we'll have Oktoberfest beer on draft along with, uh, with uh, other German beers. Uh -huh. And if I if I want to come to that, do I need to make reservations or just show up? Just show up. Very cool. So Oktoberfest. Uh, now, can I wear my lederhosen? I guess it's a question. To. Okay, there you go. So well, well, you can dress up if you'd like to join us. <laughs> and if I want to preview stuff, you have a website. We do. Uh, it's rrpublichouse.com. Very cool. Shane, this looks, this looks wonderful. So I can't wait to uh, sample some of your uh, your stuff and your food and your beer. And sounds great. All so, right. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks for coming. <laughs> yeah. More ETV when we come back.